All right. So I think without further ado. Yes, I don't see anybody on mine. But, huh? Well, I see one on me. Okay, well, let's get started. Yeah, people yep, jump yep. Anyway, on hey, 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 Joe, guess what time it is? Holy cow. Yay, what time is it there, well, Big Brother? Well, it's time, a little late, but it's time <laughs> once again late. for Smack and Jack Live Ow. here from the Somerset yeah. Studios in lovely Chester County, Pennsylvania. And it, once again, it, we have snow on the ground. Yeah, lots of happy, snow. Happy March Precipitation uh, is what the happy word March is. Second, yes. Precip. Precip. Uh, All right. There's, there's a winter... What do they call it? Uh, winter advisory? Uh, something like winter that. Winter watch? Yes. Something yes. like We've that got, for today? Yes. All right. Anyway. So let's not dwell on the weather because we got to get going. Yeah, we got to. Yes. We're almost. Uh, we're halfway through our show. 10 minutes minutes started, getting yes. started so, here. Yeah. We got All a whole right. bunch of stuff going on today. We got, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, hey, something coming to Philly. Uh, some guy, I don't know what yeah. his name is. You'll we'll have to look in. up his name. Yeah. Somebody let us know. Uh, if remember what let his me name see is. what else we got doing. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about lead pages and thrive leads. Okay. Press a post of the week. Yep. We got some jokes, we got some trivia, we got some facts, we got some trivia answers, and the ever popular birthday minute. Yeah, I forgot to read it in there. Yeah. I hope we have a couple of birthdays. Oh, we, we, we've got plenty so, of birthdays. For yeah, we got a great show. It's a little bit off today, but that's okay. We're always a little We're off. A so little grab your cup of coffee. Off. You're going to hit back. the intro yeah, music. Yeah, I will. There. We're going to hit All right. the intro music, and we will be right back. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wonderman. There we you go. Could not we be finally, oh my goodness! <laughs> Thanks. Woo. All right, so uh, Barbara's watching. Hello, Barbara. Yeah, here's, yeah, we got a couple. Here's people what's on. going on today, oh, folks. Uh, number one, I got I got here a couple minutes later than normal, and um, we have a new soundboard to hook up. Kind of figure that out, and uh, we kind of call got, me Sir Mix a lot. Yes, maybe. <laughs> sure. There you go. Yeah. yeah, so keys control control the volumes now. So this ship uh, is gonna sink. I tell if, you what. If anything's a little bit loud, tell Keith to turn the volume down. Yeah. So anyway, here we are. Let's do a little talking. First Happy off, March, by the way. Yeah. Uh, March. Spring is only uh, what twenty days away. Do you know? I think one year ago today we had that huge nor'easter that came. I think it was a year ago today. Uh, that took our power out for uh, five days. We were without power for wow, five days. Wow, that was a year ago. Wow. Yeah. I remember I'm that. I'm sure it was March yep. 2nd or, you know, one of these days. <laughs> but, uh, so a year ago. Yep, a little bit better weather today yes. going on. We're going to get a little bit more this weekend, but I don't think it'll be quite that bad. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. okay, so uh, I did want to give a shout out to our good friend Jim. I don't know if Jim's on right now, but uh, Jim was under the weather for uh, a couple weeks. Yes. And uh, he is he's back at it. Um, saw him in church last week. Uh, That's so good. Good to hear. Yeah. Doing, good doing well. Doing much better. Um, and uh, let's see, our good friend Nick Foles is is out of field up. Yes. Right? Yeah, unfortunate. We knew it was going to happen yeah, eventually. We knew it was but, happen, but you know what? It, it's crazy because I think Nick Foles. Uh, He's always going to be loved in Philadelphia. Yes. Yep. And I honestly hope he goes to the New York Giants. Okay. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that'll be funny. Because I think it'll be very interesting playing against to watch. him. Yeah. And, you know, if he goes to Jacksonville, it, that'll be fine if he goes to Florida. But I I hope he goes to the, yeah, Giants, the Giants and he actually uh, takes over for Eli Manning because Eli Manning's on the way out. Okay. All right. So we have this other guy named, uh, oh, we found his name. Bryce... Harper. Oh, right, Bryce, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, so Bryce Harper is in. Who is this guy, Bryce Harper? You know, uh, well, he's not the million-dollar man because that was Steve Majors. <laughs> That's right. And uh, he's the $30, $330 million man. Yeah, so uh, let's just take 30 wow. seconds to talk about uh, our new <laughs> baseball player in town. Sorry, Joby. Our, our cousin Joby's down in Washington and... Um, uh, that's where Bryce Harper used to play. Oh, okay. So, um, so the deal looks like this: Bryce Harper, Philadelphia Phillies, finalized a three hundred thirty million dollar deal. Uh, so that's been confirmed. He signed on the dotted line. Right. He, he passed his physical, of course, and all that. So, uh, thirteen hmm. years, three hundred thirty million. Uh, there is a no opt out part of the contract, and I believe there's no trade in there too. So he wanted to just find a place to call home. Okay. Um, and a lot of people thought he was going to go to Los Angeles or uh, San Diego. 
Um, but he ended up signing with the Phillies. Wow. And I think it's kind of cool because it's like one of the first times that like a huge star. I, I don't really know who he is. I didn't know who he was until all this came up. Right. So a huge athlete actually signed in Philadelphia. You know, let's go back. Imagine if Wayne Gretzky came to she Philadelphia really, Flyers yeah. when he was, uh, he was in his fourth one. year yep. of playing or fifth year. You know, what, what that would have been amazing. So anyway, uh, let's do the breakdown of what he's going to make over the next few years. So so this year he's making $10 million, And just for signing on the dotted line, he gets $20 million. Wow. I love it. Very good. That is, so 26, 26 million every year for the next few years, and then towards the end of his uh, his uh, time uh, in year 11, 12, 13 or so, he's 22 million. So wonder how he's going to work that because you know uh, the cost of living is going to be so much higher up there, and then he's getting a pay cut. I I know he's going to have to really budget. We're going to have to. I guess we're going to have to get a GoFundMe page for him, for the <laughs> poor guy. Right. You know he's going to be older. He's going to have some health issues. Maybe. Yeah. yeah well, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Old man sour yeah. over here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so. So um. So as I'm looking up this wow. information, uh, what's popping up on my screen? And I'm scratching my head. Can I afford this? Well. You know, I'm looking at, you know, just kind of cruising cars at the moment. Thinking about and the I'm old like, ah, buggies can, getting ready to get traded can, can in. Can I afford $18,000 yeah. on a car? Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, it's very That good. is fine. Good for him. Uh, good for Philadelphia. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think yeah, it's a good we'll, move. Can, uh, yep. It's going to... Uh, I think it's going to be good for Philly to have somebody who's like really big in town. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, our main main thing about today, our our, our learning curve okay. part of our uh, show today is. Okay. Um, you remember that? Shall we go? To, let's go to feature music oh, now. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> the the technician feature is a out. little bit more like thought provoking. Oh. Um. So lead pages is what I currently use for our opt ins. Um, for people to opt in, and they end up getting on a mailer list, and okay. then I can send them letters and so thing, forth. Yep. Now, for those in four percent who end up watching this show, Vic does um, really highly recommends ClickFunnels, um, which I agree. However, ClickFunnels for ninety-eight dollars a month uh, was uh, keeping me from sleeping, especially while I'm trying to figure out everything else. Okay, yeah. so. A couple years ago, Lead Pages was also part of the 4% group as well as one of our MSIs. So I decided to go with Lead Pages instead. So it's about $12 to $15 a month. Okay. Much better than $98 a right. month. Okay. So uh, what I did find about Lead Pages, it wasn't quite as um, flexible when you're building a template. So last week I came upon um, some YouTube videos that suggested Thrive Leads. So this is a, actually a WordPress uh, plugin that you can access right at, right at the dashboard of your WordPress site. Um, and it comes highly recommended, and it was $67 one-shot deal. Wow. Yeah, so much better than $98 a month, much better than, you know, $15 a month. So suddenly, Smack and Jack is in the black again? <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. Okay. But anyway, let me just show you just a little tiny, uh, quick introduction to, to Thrive Leads. Uh, again, I've been only working on this for a few days now. Uh, and I've already become very frustrated, but they're going to help me out with it. So, um, so bear with me here. So here's um, this is our lead page, right? And I showed this to you last week, and I and I was sharing with you that some things just don't work exactly the way I want them to. Okay, so say that I want uh, the word B to be down with joining us. So I type in, and look how far down it jumps now. Now I got this huge gap in yeah. here, and this has driven me crazy for years now. Why, why does that happen, okay? So those types of things happen to me consistently with lead pages. So that's been driving me up the wall. So, all right, so I come up with Thrive. So Thrive, again, is a plugin. So if you have a WordPress page, it just plugs right into your dashboard here. You click here, and you can start building your leads. You don't have to go to another page. Okay, Okay. Good. so you start building right here. Here's uh, all the information I need to know. Um, and let's see, let's go down here. Somebody calling and interrupting us. Yes, it's during the show. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> all right, so, so I go to edit. Now there's been a little glitchiness with this, I have to say, which has caused me some frustration. I'll go over that right now. Otherwise, I've been pretty happy for the last four days. 
with Thrive Leads. Okay, so this is the page that I've been working on. Um, let's go back to um, let's go back to the default stage. So, so this is going to be a pop up as soon as somebody comes to our Smack and Jack page. This form is going to pop out right right away. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing that is because Thrive Leads said that through their research, that is the best way to get opt-ins to your list. As soon as you open your page, or as soon as the page opens, your uh, invitation to join their, you know, the sign in, right. basically. Um, so they say that's the best thing to do. You got a lot of customers today. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep talking here. <clears throat> so, um, so one of the issues that I've had uh, with this, folks, is that the template that I want, it, I want it to look like this. I want it to look like this. Um, however, this is how it comes up. I'm, I'm okay with this and it looks all right, but the biggest issue that I've had, if I go to, um, so we ch you press here to check us out and then it comes out with state two, okay, state two. Okay, that means this is where you put in your, your, um, your email address. This is the way I want it to look, something like this. Right. However, what it will really look like, and when you go to preview mode, it looks like this. Ugh. Okay, check this yeah, out. We got our, our pictures like way off in left field there. Yeah, you know, which is cool if you're Bryce Harper, you're way out left field. That's where you need to be, right? <laughs> oh, I got, and it's not even a circle anymore. It's oval. It's um, you know, the the type is on top of us, <laughs> and, and this down here. What is going on? So anyway, I did send Thrive Leads um, a help request. I I did a little video to show him exactly what I'm talking about, and the guy got back to me and said, yes, it looks like there's something wrong. You know, something's going on. So they're gonna get back to me. The problem is they're in Sweden, I think, <laughs> based on their accents. So it takes a while. But anyway, thus far, I've been pretty happy with Thrive Leads, other than some of this little bit of glitchiness that they're gonna help me out with. And uh, I'll let you know a little bit later how things work out. Okay. But I've been impressed with the templates that they've offered to get uh, plenty of templates, and I'm not gonna take the time right now to show you what those templates are. But uh, there's, there's lots of options. And let me just go over what the state one and state two here is. Um, default state, I could have just the opt-in here with an email, you know, put your email right there. Right. But this one has two states. It has the initial default, and then when the person clicks there, it takes them to state two, and that's where you put in your email address. Now, you, you could do it either way, and they say, uh, you know, test it out. You know, what works best? You know, does state one, just having one form there and put in your email, or to state two, meaning that you click and then put in your email, you know, do your right. testing. Yeah. So, okay. so again, I got to get it all figured out before I start putting money into testing it, you know, and that's, that's just, you know, something that you got to do no matter what format you're using. So that's what I have on okay. lead pages versus Thrive Leads. I recommend if you're uh, interested in Thrive Leads, just to go onto their site. They have some tutorials that kind of show you what they're about and all that. Okay. Um, so my friends in 4%, uh, if you want to check that out, go to Thrive Leads. I, I don't have any affiliate link or anything like that for you. Just look it up, check them out, and then make that decision for yourself. Again, I, I really think ClickFunnels is the best way to go here, but you know, $100 a month is yeah. uh, for, for those who are just yes. starting out like us, that's a, that's a hard chunk to, sure to take is. monthly, yep. right? That's okay. it, Brother good, Keith. Good, good, okay, very good. All very right, good, so I think the next thing we got going on here is our impressive post of the week. Impressive post. Uh oh, impressive is this, yeah, post? I remember yeah, last week's, it wasn't very impressive. Yeah, but. that was a uh, questionable post. All right, so um, this is actually not a post. Okay. This is actually, uh, I, I guess it's kind of from a blog or something like that. But let's take a look here. Let's see if I can find it up top here before I do that. Uh, yeah, there it is. I see it. All right, so let's take a All look right. at this impressive post of the week. I'm gonna keep it on the big slide here so we can actually see and read it. Um, all right, so here we go. I'm wondering who made the impressive post. Oh, wow. look who it is! Boy. Linda, our big sister Linda. Yeah, hey. look at those all right. muscles. So that's her working out in the gym. And what I like even more is the, the caption at the bottom that I believe the gym owner put into her trainer put, put in the caption here. So let me read it for you in case you can't see. It says, I'm often amazed at how 501 can bring out special parts of the human spirit. At one point, Linda scoffed at the word burpee and was apprehensive to use any weight above an eight pound dumbbell. Today, you'll find her pushing a 65 pound bar over her head. Her smile and energy remind me of 
why I come to work every day. Thank you, Linda, for being an inspiration. Yes! Wow. Very Kudos. nice. Kudos. Very, very yeah. nice. All right. Very nice. Great job, Linda. All right, we're very proud of you. That's awesome. Okay, the other, uh, while I'm on this slide right here, there's, there's one slide, again, from our friend Matt Heavens. Um, this is not a questionable post, though, I, but I saw it today and I thought it was funny. Remember, if you lose a sock in the dryer, it comes back as a Tupperware lid that doesn't fit <laughs> any of your containers. <laughs> I just, I that just thought good. that very was uh, kind of funny. I yes. saw that yeah. today, so I thought I'd, I'd share that with everybody. And that so, is true, isn't it? It, it in, indeed is true. Uh, because we always lose a sock. Yep. We always have lids without the bottoms. Yep. We have the bottoms without the lids. Mm -hmm. Is that what is down. that's? I guess that's like the Bermuda Triangle of uh, <laughs> how, uh, household wares. I guess it is. All right. Okay, Are we on to jokes? Uh, yeah. Right, let's get some jokes going. You know what? Uh, we uh -oh. have a different joke. Uh -oh. You know why we're Check using a different out. joke book today? Because I left this one here last uh. week, and I was afraid it might go f it with the symbol. Oh uh, yes. It might yeah, end up with the little town that losing we props here. Daily. Yeah. So, so, um, so I went anyway. on this joke book off of the uh, the counter today. So, uh, page one fourteen, the book of jokes, page one fourteen. Let's see here. Sorry, folks. We, man, talk about not being. I feel like we didn't prepare at all for this show, but I feel like the only thing I've done for the last. <laughs> well, I didn't minute. prepare at all. <laughs> you kind of feel like me. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, hold on a second. Oh, nice, man. nice. Oh, well. That's why we have coffee, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why it's relaxed Saturday morning, too. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so we ready for jokes? Yes, I am ready. All right, now these jokes, I believe all of them are um, jokes where there's two people talking. Okay, okay. So it's a little bit different than our normal format. Okay. All right, so Brucey says, oh, my goodness, I've gone deaf. I can't hear a word you're saying. But Lucy says, well, I'm not saying anything. I'm chewing gum. Uh, oh, very good. We have to get one of those magnifying glasses on that thing. Yeah. Or you maybe, oh like, my, maybe I'll get some of those Elton John glasses. something, man. Uh, all right. All right, what, what, what all right joke number two, folks. Just, just humor us and, well, and chuckle. Play along. Yeah. All right, the passenger said, I'd like a round-trip ticket. And the ticket agent says, well, where to? And the passenger says, well, back here, of course. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> yeah, that's good. That, that was a good that one. That <laughs> one actually made me chuckle this morning. I thought that, that's a good one. All right, yeah. so Harry said, someday I'd like to ride on a submarine. And, but Larry said, well, not me. I don't want to set foot on a ship that sinks on purpose. <laughs> All right, uh, Percy. Percy says, you have your shoes on the wrong feet. But Lucy said, well, that's impossible. These are the only feet that I have. <laughs> uh, last one. Hold on a second. Last got... one. Why did 17 nitwits go to the movies together? Why? They, the sign said under 17, not admitted. That's it, man. No more. Very good. Very no good. More. Very good. No more. That's what I was looking for. Uh, <laughs> no more. Yeah. Our audience is out of whack. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's out of whack this morning. They, they were actually pretty good, Joel. Yeah. They're okay. Right. Yeah. They're okay. Very All right. Good. Okay. So <clears throat> now we got some trivia coming up. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys ready for trivia? Well, let's do trivia. trivia. Okay. Get your uh, fingers moving here. Uh, Terry, Jim's get your fingers. So Barbara, get your uh, moving on. Is uh, Jim on today? Yeah. Yay. Good to see Jim. you back. Good Jim. to see you, Jim. Great to see you on today. Um, all right, so let's get our trivia fingers moving. Okay. All right. Keith's going to do some reading because I need to take a break because I've been talking nonstop for the last few minutes here. And I'm parched. I need some water. And I need some coffee. Yeah. All, right. all right. All right. Are you ready to go there, Brother mm -hmm. Keith? All right. See. see if I can still remember how to read from last week. <laughs> okay. So let's go to our trivia and get ourselves at the beginning. All right. There you go. Released in April on April 5th, 1974. What was Stephen King's first published novel? Mm. Oh, boy, that's a tough one. He's had a lot. Uh, who invented the first alternating current? Induction, Induction motor. Induction motor. Uh, the first AC motor. Who invented the first AC motor? All right. Uh, what is the only natural national flag that is not square or rectangular? Mm. Hmm. Okay, I can picture a couple. Uh, where would one arrive at the second star in... Uh, where would one arrive at the second star to the right and straight on till morning? 
makes no sense. You read that one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> what three word parting catchphrase is engraved on voice uh, actor Mel Blanc's gravestone? Oh, this is, I should have read these over. How come I didn't read these over? Uh, Thus spoke Zarathustra. A book for all and none is a philosophical novel written by which German philosopher? Sorry, I saw that word Zara. Yeah, you could uh, hop in there for me. <laughs> uh, the island of Borneo is politically divided among which three countries? Okay, let's go with just one more. Uh, executives of William Randolph Hearst Media Empire conspired to stop the release of what 1941 film? Huh. Hmm. All right, let's go back to the top to a quick review. Released on April 5th, 1974, what was Stephen King's first published novel? I have a thought on that one. Who invented the first alternating current induction motor? What is the only national flag that is not square or rectangular? Where would one arrive at the second star to the right and straight on till morning. Hmm. What three-word parting catchphrase is engraved on voice actor Mel Blanc's gravestone? Thus spoke Zarathustra. <laughs> a book for all and none is a philosophical novel written by which German philosopher? The island of Borneo is politically divided among which three countries? And executives of William Randolph Hearst Media <coughs> Empire conspired to stop the release of what 1941 film? Hmm. Hmm. So those are some head scratchers. Yes, because I don't think I have any of the answers there. But, no, I don't uh, think I. We'll have give you a couple of minutes. Uh, yep. Ponder them through yep. and send uh, them in. Yeah, send them in. Either once at one <laughs> at a time as we read them back, or just as, as, as if you think about them, just write them down. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll get to them back in a minute. We got some facts for today. This is a great one. In uh, 2014, Taylor Swift accidentally released eight seconds of white noise on iTunes for $1.29. It became number one in Canada almost immediately before being removed. Now, oddly enough, her first five years of, uh, never mind, <laughs> white noise. Uh, anywho, uh, Les Harvey, guitarist of, 19, uh, of the 70s blues rock band Stone the Crows, died on stage. Do you, do you mind? I'm having a Sorry, sorry. Uh, died right. on stage in front of a thousand fans on May 3rd, 1972, when he was electrocuted while tuning up for a show. Boy. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. I mean, that true. would not have been pleasant to see, I don't think. Yeah. I, right? I'm more upset that he only had a thousand people watching. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Clack. Eric Clapton grew up believing his grandmother was his mother and his mother was his sister. Eric Clapton has had issues in his entire life. Yeah, I was going to say that. Talk about communication issues. Yeah. yeah. All yes. right, moving on. Uh, an attempt to set the Guinness World Record for the world's most expensive cocktail in 2012 was thwarted uh, when a customer dropped and broke the bottle of cognac, it was worth seventy-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. Now, wow. what would you do to that customer? Uh, cement shoes, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Van Halen, the rock band, was originally called Rat Salad. Yeah. How interesting. Yeah. yeah. How could uh, Queen ants can live over thirty years, making them one of the longest living insects. Wow. That is kind of freaky. We had, uh, never That's mind. Uh, okay. The first known <laughs> straws were made by the Sumerians in 3000 BC and were used for drinking beer. Now that deserves, yeah, that deserves that, uh, a round of applause. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I always uh, liked the Sumerians. Yeah. yeah they, they had, were, they they had their heads they were some right. cool dudes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I found that people who enjoy doing laundry are less likely to experience sock loss. Yeah. I guess they really back that, uh, I wonder how they are with uh, Tupperware lids. <laughs> <laughs> this one's amazing. Yeah, clams, clams can live for more than 400 years. Can you imagine? And not being found yourself in a clam Not in that buttery or? stuff I put them in, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, no kidding. Uh, St. Drago is a Catholic church patron saint of those whom offer others fine. Others fine, repulsive, unattractive people, cattle, coffee, houses, owners, yeah. and deaf people. St. Drago. I keep looking at the dude from, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of that. <clears throat> Before fridges were invented, Russians and Finns kept their milk fresh by putting live frogs in it. 
Awesome. Ooh, yeah. yeah. This one's great. During mating seasons, ma- a mouse loomer testes swell to be bigger than their brains. Uh, I think the humans have that kind of problem, too, uh, half their lives. All right, last one. Uh, Japanese kamikaze pilots were allowed to return if they didn't find a suitable target. One pilot was shot after his ninth return. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Hold on a second. Yeah, poor guy. Talk poor about guy. a uh, underachiever. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, all right, let's get back good, to our good, trivia. Okay. Let's get back to trivia. We have some answers going on here. Yay, yay, yay. All right, so. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, okay. I, I was okay. looking for, uh, do we have a trivia? Uh, yeah, do we have any uh, responses here? Trivia music. I didn't okay, hey, Al, I see Al's on. All right, so, released on April 5th, 1974, what was Stephen King's first published novel? I'm going to say It? It? Okay, I was going to say Carrie, but I'm not sure. Oh! Let's find out here. Oh. Survey says... Carrie! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Woo-hoo! I got one right. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Who invented the first alternating current induction motor? Who invented... Uh, uh, what say you, Brother Keaton? Or Bell. Alexander Graham. I was going to say General. Mr. General Electric. Uh, Tesla. I'm going to say Tesla. All right. No! no! Oh, yeah! yeah. Right. Man, we are on fire. All right. What is the only national flag that is not square or rectangular? I like a triangular one. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I was going to say the flag of Nepal. Oh. Uh, yes. All right. Nepal, okay. okay. So we, we're, we're down one here. Where would you arrive, where would one arrive at the second star to the right? And straight on till morning. Uh, I don't know. I'm not even sure what the answer is. Question is here. Really? I don't know. <laughs> okay, really. let's find out. Neverland. Oh, okay. Uh, Neverland. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. What three word parting catchphrase is engraved on uh, Mel Blanc's gravestone? That's all, folks. That came Man, to me just came yeah. right. Good job. Good job. All right. Thus spoke Zarathustra. There, Zarathustra, a book for all and none, is a philosophical novel written by which German philosopher? I'm going to say I don't know. Friedrich Nietzsche. Yeah, well, I still don't know. We get the answer, we still don't know. Yeah. All yeah. right. The island of Borneo is politically Borneo. Borneo sorry, <clears throat> politically divided among which three countries? I don't even know where Borneo is. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I've heard of it. Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei. All right. Brunei. Okay, Brunei. Executives of William Randolph Hearst Media and Empire conspired to stop the release of 1941 film. Oh, oh, uh, what was that one about uh, Pacific? The Pacific? Three, uh, two, one. So oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes more sense. Is that right? Yeah. 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 All right, so a round of applause. Thank you, everybody, for playing along there. All right, so let's get Very ourselves good. Okay, out right. of well, here. They, they were tough this week, i got to admit. Yeah. I actually yeah. got two. I had I, no I idea. I think most of those trivia questions are tough for you and me. Tesla, so I guess that's that's why Tesla cars are named Tesla because Tesla dude made all that electricity. Yeah, and apparently they'd say he was more influential than uh, the other guy's name. Um, know more. Edison. At Thomas Edison. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So but yeah. Anyway. So there's there's a little bit of uh, disagreement as to uh, you know if Edison stole some yes. ideas and yes. patents right. or you know whatever. Uh, kind of like what happened in the uh, in the in the 80s when uh, somebody stole some computer stuff and from somebody, and next thing you know, he's like everybody's favorite person on the planet. And then there's Apple, and there's Microsoft, and there's <clears throat> we're not going to name any names. Not gonna other than any names. Other than Apple and Microsoft. So. <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> Bravo, okay, well, it looks like we're getting close right, here, Sean. Yeah. We're running late, so we let's are do running late. So let's minute. get in a birthday yeah. minute, and then okay. we're going to get out of here. Okay, folks. let's do and that. Now, I will tell you this right now: we have a lot of birthdays coming up. You ready for okay. the uh, ready for the birthday minute? Here we go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Happy birthday, 
Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Okay. Sounds like uh, a flock of seagulls, man. Flock of bunches. I'll tell you what. The props oh, that we my use here goodness are just... sex. Anyway, uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, anyway, we got a, quite a, we got a couple yeah, of what do we got um, going on? celebrities this day, 1968. Daniel, okay. Daniel Craig was born. He, okay. I think he's a current uh, James Bond, if there's anybody past him. John Bon Jovi. You know, ah. I'm a guy. I'm a 100% guy, but I got to tell you, back in the 80s, I love this dude. Probably the best looking dude has ever played rock and roll. <laughs> and he's funny. actually a cool dude. Uh, born yeah, in, he's uh, cool. This day, uh, 1962, John Bond, just almost a, a year and a couple weeks older than I am. Yeah. Uh, getting back to somebody else that's in it, uh, uh, loved her drumming. Uh, she just had a problem getting the food from her hand to her mouth. Karen Carp. <laughs> Karen Carpenter uh, was born this day in 1950. Uh, the Carpenters, of course, one of yes. my favorite bands as a kid. Lou Reed, ah. as I grew up and learned uh, more different stuff. Uh, forerunner of the punk industry with the Velvet Underground, Underground by himself. Uh, born this day, 1942. And Dr. Seuss. Yay. Dr. Seuss, born 1904. Man, if I had known that, I would have had like a little Dr. Seuss thing going on. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll do it next year All right. if his yeah. birthday's on the same. So what do we got closer to home Okay. Here, All right, folks. We have a lot of birthdays this week, so happy birthday to everybody who has, a, yes. has her name mentioned this week. All right. So starting today, we say happy birthday to Jennifer and Lori. Yay. Happy birthday, folks. All right. And okay. then tomorrow, Sunday, March the 3rd, we have Dolores, Kristen, and Laura. Happy birthday, guys. Tomorrow happy on the birthday. 3rd. On Monday the 4th, we have... Robert. Happy birthday, Robert, on Monday. Tuesday the 5th. Look at this. We have Bill, Peggy, Stephanie, Teresa, and Wendy. Happy Ooh, birthday, guys, wow, on Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday the 5th. Wednesday, we have Bernadette, we have Deanna, we have Jason, and we have Michael. Happy birthday, guys, on Wednesday the 6th. Thursday, March 7th, we say happy birthday to Anne Marie, Mark, Robert, Tedman, Wendy, and Dan. Yay, happy birthday on Thursday, guys. Happy birthday. And on Friday the 8th, we have Andrew, Jennifer, Mark, and Todd. Happy birthday on Friday. Friday's a great day to have a birthday. Sure on Friday the 8th is not Friday the 13th. 13th. Yeah. Comes next week, apparently. Okay. <laughs> and next Saturday the 9th, we say happy birthday to Bess and Jeff. Yay, Ooh. happy birthday, folks. Everybody having a birthday this week. We hope you have a Fantastic. Very good. Very good. Enjoy to make it last all week yeah. long, right? All year long. All year yes. long. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that gets us out of the birthday minute, so we need the birthday outro. You got it? And that was the Smash and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Oh, we're back. Do we Yay. have sound over there? People actually. We do have sound. Or? Yay! We actually. All right. We're sounding off. Uh, on I'm Facebook looking for here. my outro. Oh, there we go. Well, see the uh, outro. Outro yes. is waiting at the yes. end. There, so. uh, well, all right. Well, what. thanks for joining us today. I feel like it's been kind of rushed, but it's only because we got on a little bit late. Now yeah. we're a little bit late. Uh, yeah, but thanks very much show. for stopping by. I'm going to be around next week. You yeah, I will week? be around next okay, week. Okay, let's do it again next week. Hopefully, we'll be a little bit better weather. We'll be a little bit more awake. And whatnot, uh, and like us, you know, see our page, like us, forward it, uh, pass it on, tell everybody about it, and we got some things coming up for you in the yeah. year. We're gonna do some, and we we request to... that you check out our YouTube channel. I think maybe I'll post that link yes. below because I know I keep saying this, but we do want to start making a change over to YouTube. Okay, you you YouTube YouTube. Not as soon as I can but, say it, we'll yes. make that change, right? Because um, uh, we just feel that maybe YouTube will give us a little bit broader scope of uh, reach and so forth. Right. Um, so we'll, we'll not abandon Facebook, but we'll kind of be on both. Right? Okay. So uh, I'll post that link below. Okay? Ready to go? Yeah, sounds good to me. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, it's always great to have Joel uh, in the morning here and, and with you guys. So uh, once again, remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch to learn, laugh, and live. Take care, guys. See you guys next week.